again, I want to thank each and all of you. Um, call to action. Uh, I want to briefly talk about a couple uh, important um, legislative bills that are uh, that are in the process right now. One of them is championed by our assembly member, Dr. Weber from San Diego, I believe, and a few other real champions up there in Sacramento. Um, and that is AB 392. And what that's gonna do when we make this pass, cause it's gonna pass, it's gonna mandate that deadly force, the use of deadly force is the last option in such incidents. It's gonna mandate that de-escalation de -escalation tactics are utilized when feasible. But most importantly, it's gonna bring accountability to police officers who kill people and it was not the last option. So the opportunity for a police officer to go to trial just like everybody else who gets accused of killing people. So accountability, which we've never had. So I wanna thank Dr. Weber and the other champions up there for finally standing up for our communities of color because unfortunately, in most cases, the majority of these cases is always people of color who are assassinated by these police. It doesn't happen to too many uh, white folks. And not that uh, we're racist or, or white folks are bad. Nah, we know a lot of cool white folks and there's even some strong allies here, right? Uh, but there's definitely some, race, some racism. This is institutional racism. This is not new. This is the new lynchings. This is all they're hanging us now. They're shooting us. I want to talk about another bill. It's pretty sad, man, but uh, those who know me, they know that I ain't shy, man. I'm not shy. I'm not scared. Like the young senorita said, I'm not scared of bullets. I'm not scared of cops, sales. I'm not really scared. Um, and I'm going to call out my truth. I always speak my truth, so I'm going to call out our Senator Caballero. Our own senator, who, who some of us voted for, muy a huevo, we voted for her, for me at least, and my family, and my friends, and my circles, muy a huevo, <coughs> right? It was that, or, or a white Republican, right? <laughs> um, so she's currently championing a bill who, which law enforcement wrote, which their lobbyists and their unions wrote, and uh, their solution and their solution to this problem of police officers assassinating people is more training. More training. Last year, during negotiations, because Mrs. Weber's bill had a different number last year, and it didn't survive. It got vetoed. Um, but during the negotiation, which is what usually what happens up there, the law enforcement actually got $25 million for training just last year. It didn't stop crap. You know, she's, Brenda's dead. So it's not about training. We went, we heard about a press release uh, that they try to hide way over there in the south side. A little pretty little park they got over there. Um, and we caught wind about it and uh, we went over there. I went to the office. I don't know, I'm not sure if I was gonna work that day. I was coming in late or something. I got there, it's like, hey, this is going down. I started grabbing signs and flags and hey, I'm gonna go, whoever's free. If you're not, if you're free, you wanna roll, let's roll. We went, I said, we're not gonna go be belligerent. We're not gonna make, we're not gonna be disrespectful, interrupt. We're just gonna go stand with our signs right behind them. Unfortunately, most of the media outlets kind of cropped us out of all the pictures and videos and stuff, right? But <laughs> shout out to Univision for, for cause they definitely, they're, they're not shy. We appreciate Univision a lot. Um, so back to Caballero's bill, uh, SB 230. Again, it's just about training and more money, more money, more money, more money. Gosh, must be nice on demand when it comes to law enforcement. Uh, this bill is a watered down version of AB 392. Mrs. Caballero, I hope, you, I hope somebody shows you this or puts it on the paper or something, but shame on you. Who do you represent? You'd rather protect law enforcement than our community? Your constituents, people who vote for you? Oh, sin vergüenza. Um, so that's that. There's an opportunity if anybody's interested on April 9th to go up to Sacramento when both of these bills are going to be heard. April 9th. If folks are interested and want to go up there, uh, we have the opportunity to take a bus uh, and it's 
not coming out of our pockets. Um, so if you're interested, please connect before we leave. Last, yeah, we will reach out via everybody's contacts. Some people signed up there, some people signed up right here. Um, so we'll follow up, we'll reach out. Before I excuse myself, again, I want to thank each and all of you, everybody, youngest to the oldest. Uh, I appreciate, we appreciate you. Uh, I also want to say, man, that uh, you guys see us, you might see me a lot, or you see this beat, but we're always, when it comes to like the juicy stuff, you know, they, they we're out there, you know, and that's cool, we'll take it. I'm not tripping, like I said, I'm not scared. Um, but this is not me, this is not just a meat issue. These are not just meat uh, uh, conversations or community actions and victories, right? We're talking about stopping them from putting cops in our schools at three districts out of four. That wasn't just MIPA, it wasn't just BHC, so on and so forth. This is our community coming together. This is different organizations coming together to do what we have to do to fight for our people.